nunchucks. If you know Bruce Lee, like greatest karate player, he he knows how to use these things like very well. So today I'm going to learn these ends and we'll see how much time it takes to learn the last trick, which is going to be uh, difficult, which I don't know. So I'm going to start the stopwatch here. It's at zero zero. So I'm going to be just seeing how to learn. I like I don't know how to like hold them. I know like to do this like that. So let's just start. And three. So I'm starting here. In three, one, start. I'm going to put the one on here. It's a safe place. Okay. So the first thing uh, before the tricks, I am going to learn striking techniques which could hit people and if these are real nunchucks, these could hit. I am using beginner nunchucks which have foam around them, see? These, if this hit, it is not going to hurt but it still hurts. So, the skill is going to be a horizontal spin. So it is now spinning like, like horizontally from here to here and I am striking in the middle like here. So let's just try. I have seen video of people using nunchucks. I have like done them. This is not a practice video. I am just seeing videos, all the tricks. You just learn them like thoroughly in the way. So that so they just said, hold the nunchuck not in the end, not in the front, like in the middle here, and just extend your arm forward and extend your arm forward. Uh, what is it? Then just go here, then bend your arm back and go. And I said just do this in a full motion. So then just try it. Okay, well, they, when they would, I could do like this. It's right in the middle, I think. Oh, I'm going fast. But when they were doing this, they were not hitting. Should I try something like, like this? No, this this is like purposely hidden. Should I extend the arm? No, oh, it's moving. Oh, <laughs> so let's do that. No, oh, it's working. Yeah, so here I do this. I do this one and this one. Cool. It's a little tap. Okay, so the next was the vertical spin. I see like him changing like that from here. It's pretty easy, just like the horizontal spin. The first you start, uh, like I have learned this, it was really easy. Just from seeing the video, they said just do like this, but it's horizontal. Yeah, so just it's uh, here. It gets the momentum, it bounces bounce on the triceps here, triceps and then come back and yeah, triceps, triceps, so it is bouncing triceps and then bicep, yeah. and it kills the momentum here, like here, it kills and then I regenerate. Okay, so I have done these two things and let's do it with both hands. Okay, so this is practically easy. And I do the vertical spin. Left hand, it's hard. I cannot get it like on the right hand. Should I do more speed? This is also hand at a level. Putting the hand in the middle. Next, uh, to like they throw this here, they grab it like this and go here and do it. But they do it really fast, really fast. So I have seen some people do this to learn. They hold the nunchucks full horizontal like that, and they say, and the people say, just put this side in. And take your side back to your arm in and back. And this is this creeps, uh, creates like a grip which you will be in. So let's do this. This will just do it 
like one day full. But I don't have this much time. Just do this like ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so let me just try to make grandma like this. Oh! Oh, 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 grab it, grab it, oh, no. grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, oh, it's getting fluid now, should I increase more speed, it is more speed, yes, yeah, so, Trying to do more speed. Oh, I got fluid. Really quickly. Yo, fast me. Okay, the last this uh, trick. The I will say the third one easier, which is this. This is just uh, uh, get the nunchucks in the underside of the shoulder, pull like this and pull forward. And this is the nunchuck of the others. Push it up here. So let's do that. Oh, they said just do it in fluid motion. Easy. Yeah. Should I increase my speed? Whoa! If you just put so much pressure forward, it just comes back directly just to open and close like in one second to your arm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That this was so easy. Can I switch hands? Yes, let's try to do this left hand here, middle and pick up, now just do it forward and do it fast. Got it. So I will do this, let's do it like a combination. I thought I broke it. Ooh, ooh. That is nice. Okay, so well, I have done the striking techniques and how much time has it been? 6 minutes and 54 seconds. Sheesh, this took me a long time. So the next is the rip roll, which will be used in the last trick. So they said go, get the nunchuck here, throw it up, grab it like this and swing it. Same with the left hand but it's opposite there. Grab the nunchuck and do it. Let's try to do Sheesh. So Oh It's just like this trick. Like if you please like do this just that and do it just fast, it just comes directly. Oh my god, first try. Increase more speed. Oh yeah, and then it just comes and just swing it. Try to do it. Ow, it hit my foot. So I do this. The, ow. Three. Here, that, and that. Okay, I'm doing this like good. Let's, I'm fast one, right? Oh! I did the repo. I'm just not even grabbing the nutshell.
it shows that I'm a fast learner. So the next is they say this, it's the same thing, but without like this momentum, like this. So they just say just swing it up there instead of swinging from like horizontally to up there. It's vertical and you just spin it, so it just involves this. Push try. But here comes the hard part. Instead of like the left hand, you have to pull. It's the same thing, sorry. It's like this hand. First you're here, and then you spin it like here, and then your hand is like this. Instead of this hand, it's this. So when you're here, first try, and then you're here. It isn't no hard. Oh, oh, well, I messed up there. Let's use my own trick for that. So let just provide more power. Oh, oh, I got the chain. Well, yeah, I could do this. Like I could say. Next is the most easiest trick. Like it doesn't involve any practice. It is the eight. It just goes like it's the infinite sign. Just see, it's going from S, like here S and S. Like two S is like this one S and this one S. So S and then S. So this is this was an easy trick. Right. So the hard thing part is now when I learned the Riplo, it was to learn this. And this is easy, so I have to just uh, combine these two tricks together. And like I did like this, I just have to do it. Oh, what? I just have to do it like this, vertically. Like here, it is here. Okay, well, let's try here. And then this here, I go here. My hand is in a bracket and it is this one. So from here, we're going there and pushing forward, and then going here and doing this. Wow, it's it, it was really easy. Actually, I'm quite slow at this. So let's try to do it fast, like increase the speed. I'm going to back up in case it hits the camera. Oh, oh, I have to do it in there. Go back here and then do it. So three, two, one. Again. Three, two, one. Oh, that's five times. Now I have to do this again. Five times and then I think we are saving we're done. Because it's five times. And five times is enough, like I think. One, two, three, four.
15 minutes in the video, 12 minutes learning time, 12 minutes and 51 seconds to be exact, and 74 milliseconds. So yeah, we could say 12 minutes 52 seconds. Okay, but I think this is going to be it. So make sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button, and also hit that bell and also go follow us on our Instagram page, Action Pack 14. Thanks for your awesome goodbye and peace.